Baby girl Miley Cyrus is back and you probably know this by now because her new single Flowers is everywhere. Not only because it's a great song but also the music video is full of reference. And me as the smiler that I am, I got invited my inner MTV VJ and tell you everything that I know about this song, her new album and some tea that I have on the house that was used for the music video. Everything in life comes with a price and of course I'm not gonna give you gold for free. This video is gonna cost you a like and a subscription because I can actually give myself flowers but I cannot subscribe to my own shit so you're gonna have to do that. Thank you. Okay, baby girl, let's take this out of the way already. Yes, the song is about Leon Hensworth, Miley's ex, and this is the only time that I'm gonna mention his name here because no. And this is probably not a surprise for you as well because if you have been listening to Miley for a while, you know that her whole discography pretty much is about that relationship. Even Can Be Tamed, which was her first album post Disney Channel, has a lot of songs about him. And it makes a lot of sense because they start dating at very young age in 2009 when they met at the set of the movie The Last Song, and I feel so betrayed by the way because I felt like that was the perfect relationship and it was very far from perfect it was very toxic in fact with cheating manipulation and him being embarrassed of Miley the whole time when she was just being playful or she had a new haircut so disgusting to think about this because she was just being herself and he was always killing her vibe if you're still a bit confused that's okay the list of shitty things goes on and on but there's this a specific moment that triggers my fight or flight the interviewer was talking to Dan the question Questions were directed to Miley mostly and he didn't seem very happy about it but okay at some point she does a little dance on him and he gives her the coldest look ever and says something like can you behave for once <laughs> What the fuck that's even supposed to mean? Miley didn't care back then. She even served great moments after this at the same premiere, but apparently it was something very hurtful for her because at the beginning of the music video of Flowers, where we can see her very hot and pretty in her vintage solo hunt, huh? she does the exact same dance that she did on Leon. And the suit she's wearing, and the switch, switch, <laughs> suit, I don't know how to pronounce this, but this piece of clothing that she's wearing at the end of the video is also a solo hunt, huh? and it was the same one that Leon wore at the same premiere the most obvious reference flowers sound a lot like when i was your man by bruno mars when i first heard the song i was so excited and i was like oh my god did anyone else notice that those are so cool music influencer i thought that i ate that discovery but then i told my friends and they were like yeah is that response to that song and yes and no okay I I kind of felt like there was a reason behind it and apparently this was the song that Leon dedicated to Miley and also the song that they danced at their wedding reception which is kind of weird if you this I hope he buys you flower at your wedding reception I mean he kind of give you a sign if this is true or not I don't really know what I know is that it is a very popular song that a lot of men probably dedicated to their girlfriends or whatever and I myself already cried to that song so many times when I was dating a selfish manipulative asshole as well so I think it's believable and they also sample I will survive by Gloria Gaynor Speaking of, I don't know if it's true or not, there is this rumor going around that the house where Miley filmed the music video of Flowers is also the house where Leon allegedly brought the 14 women that he cheated Miley with. So yeah, apparently he cheated on Miley 14 times with 14 different women, not at the same time, I think, and he used the same spot. I find it very disturbing for two reasons. Like, is this an Airbnb that he would book all the time or is it his house? I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. I mean, Miley is a very strong, sarcastic and independent woman, but I think that would have been too far. That would have been too much. But the biggest reason I don't believe it though is because I have a friend and her father is very rich. They're very rich. They they live like kind of distant from LA in a very beautiful and big house. And one day I was hanging out in there. Her father happened to be there. We were eating sushi. I will always remember this. We were eating sushi and he said, do you guys know Miley Cyrus? And her father casually said, no, it's because Miley Cyrus wants to film her new music video and they're asking if they can use our pool. 
I remember this because I've been practicing in my head for two days straight what I was gonna tell her you know I'll behave I'll be my best but please invite me I gotta be Miley I love her so much it didn't work out because they needed a place with the landscape of LA like the hills or something and since they live far from the city they didn't really have that like they wanted so they end up not filming in there so I talked to my friend and I asked her if her father if she had the conversation or something and she sent me a screenshot but basically Basically, they just needed a place that would feel like home and that's why I don't believe that they would rent the place that he you should cheat it on her I don't think she would have gone this far it's not as interesting and as dramatic as you want it to be but it's the truth the only house that you have to care about is the one that she mentions in the first verse of flower we were good we were gold we were home and watch it burn referencing what happened in 2018 when they lost their house in Malibu due to the California fires she always talks about it and honestly I don't want to take too long on this topic because it's way too heavy for me but it was right after their house burning down that they decided to get married because you know life is unpredictable they went through this together it was not just the house and the memories and everything they went through this together so it's still after this things not changing and there was so much more i i we still want to make a video about this relationship at some point so if you want it let me know here in the comments because i would do whatever you want baby mm, yeah, i will personally i also can see it as an analogy for when you have like this long and strong relationship that you've been building and like taking so much time and then boom it just burns but maybe i'm just reading too much into it and baby girl one more thing if you broke up and got back together 300 times i'll start to say it's not good and gold She's also seen working out in the music video and her workout is very similar to Christian Bale's workout in American Psycho. It's like a 2000s movie, really good, but I don't remember much of it. I remember Bale's character being someone in his late 20s or so. He had everything, but he was always feeling empty. Honestly, I don't know if there's a correlation or if Miley just likes the workout and was like, ah, I'll get up on this thing here, you know, I don't know. But the reference is definitely there. I am very hyped for Miley's new album, Endless Summer Vacation. The single we just talked about was dropped in January 13, which by the way, is also Liam's birthday, so there's no fucking way this song is not about him. But just by that, I would not know, honestly, because I, I, I never really stopped to think that he actually had, had a birthday. Happy birthday! The album itself is gonna be out in March 10 of this year, 2023. It's gonna be an international holiday because Lana Del Rey is also dropping her new album. And you can literally see her life story through her album. So the previous one, for example, Plastic Hearts, which became one of my favorite albums in life, is very much about breakups and confusing feelings and being here and there. While this one, judging by the first single, should be more about self-love, acceptance, and independence. The album is supposed to be more progressive rock with the 70s energy. Some progressive rock examples we have like Pink Floyd, Rush, uh, Tool, Tool is progressive rock. I'm honestly hoping for it because it would be really nice. I'm also so obsessed with the aesthetics i love the cover art she's been an inspiration for me ever since i was a kid it's really nice to see her growing and making mistakes and learning from them with her audience she's never afraid of reinventing herself doing partnership with older artists so she's so amazing i love her so much i'm so excited and my battery is gonna end right now that's it i hope you liked the video if you did don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and if you didn't i do it anyways please bye